Hey guys, Donnie here with DK Motorsports. Uh, just wanted to show you uh, the new helmet that I just got with the Pyrotech uh, Pro Airflow side air. Um, so this is uh, the helmet that I've been using for quite some time now. Uh, the mid air, as you can see, is just the uh, the sport air. Uh, and at King of the Hammers, I actually broke um, this screw shield off and then that that one actually came out and uh, the insert is uh, stepped out. So when that happened, um, the visor actually flew off at about 80 miles an hour in the desert, uh, which was pretty crazy. Um, and my buddy, uh, Josh Felix, actually gave me his impact um, in the pit uh, to be able to continue on with the UTV Hammers race this past year with Roslyn. Um, so yeah, so, that helmet was broken, so I uh, called Pyrotech. Uh, Ruslan hooked me up with uh, one of the guys over there to kind of figure out exactly what I needed to fix that one, which uh, they sent me new uh, new screws, and they actually sent me uh, this one as well, but then I found out the, uh, the insert that actually stepped out, and they sent me a new visor as well. Uh, that helmet uh, is actually Alex's helmet, and Pretty dirty. Uh, she used that helmet in the uh, Class 11 race with uh, with uh, Josh. So anyway, going on to this, uh, first impression uh, is really good looking helmet. It's got a little bit of a different shape to it uh, than the, the, the older helmet. And uh, what I like most about it, it's actually got this uh, front release. That's a lot better than the, the traditional uh, side release, which is always, especially when you're wearing gloves, it's, it's kind of hard to find that and get it get it up. Um, so weight-wise, uh, this helmet on my scale came out to be uh, about 3.4 3 pounds. This one was uh, 3.8 pounds, uh, so a good bit lighter. Um, now, this one does not have the uh, rugged radios headset or the uh, next gen uh, mouse on it yet. So, I'm actually going to be pulling those off of uh, Alex's helmet and putting them on this one. And then just ordering some new uh, headsets and mouse for her helmet. She probably also needs a new visor. That one's a little crusty. Granted, we haven't washed it or anything. But uh, And also, we have a... Ruslan, the uh, shirt, uh, you can see it's sign language, uh, we only live once. Pretty nice uh, shirt. To go over to the, um, uh, the website, uh, which I'll try and link if I can, in the Grease Hands Co. Uh, again, great kid, uh, trying to do a lot of big things with uh, off-road racing. And uh, yeah, so pretty awesome. Appreciate him helping me out a little bit with uh, Finding the right people to talk to at uh, uh, a pyrotech. So, yeah, it's got some vents in the back. Just a little bit of a different shape. Yeah, so it's a good looking helmet. And then, another thing I wanted to show you guys is this uh, next gen. They call this a rally pad. And you can see here, it, it, it clips here. And then it's got the clips here. So this actually goes on your body. And it's it's just a Velcro deal. So when you the the neck gen normally comes with uh, some small like shoulder pads that are Velcroed on. So you just pull those off, and then you Velcro this on, and then you just adjust it to fit you and put it on. And it's a big thing because when you're off road racing, you know you're in and out of the car a lot, and so this thing just flopping around on your on your back, and you get back in the car and you're trying to get it get it back in the right place and um, I really don't know why they don't just sell it like this to begin with, which they should because this it's awesome. It's like a, I think it's a hundred bucks on next gen. It's kind of hard to find the uh, to actually find it, but you might be able to just search for a next gen rally pad and it should pull it right up uh, in Google. Uh, or if you go to the website, uh, just look under the accessories and it's like the first thing on the accessories. So. But yeah, just wanted to show you the helmet. Good looking helmet. I really, again, like I said, that's that's a that's a big one for me. So, yep.